Welcome to Fabric Monday. Today we talk about reading secrets from Keyvault. How can we use a notebook to read secrets from Keyvault? Why is this needed? Well, first it's important to notice the difference between configuration and secrets. I talked in previous videos and articles as well about how to manage configurations using Lakehouse files, use JSONs to manage configurations for notebooks. This, there is no problem to bring on a JSON inside a Lakehouse and so on. But we also have secrets. Secrets need a higher level of security. For example, if you are reading something from an external API, probably we have an API key. And we need to keep this API key as a secret. So we need a higher level of security for this. In this way, we need to keep this information inside Keyvault. How can we read something from Keyvault inside a notebook? The first thing that comes to mind are very complex code to read from Keyvault, but in fact, Microsoft made half of the work for us. Let's see how this works. Here I have a Keyvault, and I have a Keyvault full of secrets. One of these secrets is called PBI secret. This is the secret which I want to read from the notebook. To be capable to read this secret from the notebook, I need a user which has permissions to access the key vault. The permissions for the key vault have two different ways to be managed. We can use access policies or access control, RBAC. Anyone will work. This is not a problem. The point is, we need to have permissions. In this way, the user I'll be using, which is this user, has the permission to access the secret. Secret permission, this user has permissions to access the secrets. Here we have the notebook, and now we can discover how easy it is to implement this. MS Spark Utils makes all the work for us. Simple like this. MS Spark Util credentials get secret. We point to the URL of the key vault and the name of the secret and it will read the secret for us. What about the authentication? The authentication will be using the owner of the notebook. This is not a good method. I talked in many previous videos how this is not a good method, but that's what we have at the moment. We hope in the future this is improved. I can already execute this cell. And that's it. We recover the secret from the keyboard. Oh, but the secret is redacted. How can I see the value of the secret? You can't. You can't. The environment is developing in a way that the information retrieved by the keyboard is not displayed. It can be used. For example, you can send it to an API as the authentication key, but you can't print the information and view the information it appears predicted. In this way, we have a secure way to hold our secrets, to hold our notebook secrets. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.